Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And I'm sure some of you are caught off guard because we're not in our awesome toy room. Today we'll be working in our awesome kitchen! We actually found another way to make these jelly sodas, so we'll be showing you with this Mountain Dew bottle. Let's pour out all the Mountain Dew into this saucepan. Instead of using a microwave, we'll be using a stove. Add 8 packets of unflavored gelatin. During this part, you don't need the stove on, just in case if you were wondering. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's light it up. You want to keep it at a low heat. We're not trying to boil our soda here. Okay. I got myself a wooden spoon, but you could pretty much use anything to stir this around. If you guys notice, as the soda gets hotter, you're gonna start seeing it foam up a bit. You wanna keep stirring this until all the foam goes away. Oh, also, there's another reason why I want to show you this. Did you guys notice that I haven't been plugging my nose? Usually I'm talking to you like this during this part. But for some reason, if you don't microwave it, it doesn't smell at all. Alrighty, you could turn off your stove and stop mixing once it looks like this. It should almost look like chicken stock. While we wait for that to cool, let's do this super duper important part. We gotta make our jelly look real. Alright, that was the easy part. Careful, you got this. Woo! It's perfect and in one piece. Now let's use this X-Acto knife to cut a line in the bottle. I don't want to sound all overprotective, but please be careful when you do this part. And if handling sharp objects isn't your thing, please be sure to ask for help. Because you know, we love our awesome fans and we don't want you getting hurt. But we did hurt this bottle and give it a boo-boo. So let's use this duct tape to patch him up. There you go, Mountain Dew bottle. Feel all better now? Now we can pour our soda jelly back into the bottle. At this point, your liquid shouldn't be too hot. So I'll just keep pouring it up. Woo! Now let's just put the cap back on and put it in the fridge for about an hour. <sighs> I hate this waiting part. What are you guys gonna do for an hour? And we're back. Woo, let's see if we did a good job. Please don't spill, please don't spill, please don't spill, please don't spill, woo! I think it's a success. Let me just use my scissors to cut open the plastic. Now I'm sure many of you have already watched a few of these jelly videos by now, and I know, this part can get a little boring, but also it's pretty important, because if you don't really take the plastic off, ooh, that is jiggly, where was I? Oh, yeah. If you don't take the plastic off correctly, the jelly can kind of get messed up. So you want to be sure you peel it off correctly. That way it could look perfect like this. Nice and jiggly. Hang in there guys, we're almost to the jelly part. Let's slip this bottom part off. You want to be really careful here too, you don't want to rip the jelly. Woo! Everything looks pretty good. Now let's carefully pull the top part off. Nice! Whoa, look! We even created a jelly for that top part. That part's usually missing. Alright, let's check this out. It pretty much feels like all the other jellies we made. Let's put the Mountain Dew label on it. I'll tell you right now, it's probably not gonna look like the real bottle just because the real bottle is green. And yep, if you didn't know, the actual Mountain Dew drink is this color. You know, it still looks pretty good. Let's put the cap back on. I'm gonna say the Coke bottle we made is the most realistic one. I still can't believe how real that one looked. Okay, who wants a slice of Mountain Dew Jelly? One slice coming right up! Ah, this person ordered the bottom bottle! What a very fine piece that person chose! 
Now let's work on the middle. Slice, slice, slice. I'll taste test one in just a bit. Remember in the previous jelly videos, I said put in corn syrup if you want to make this sweeter? Well, I thought Mountain Dew was a little sweeter than the other sodas, so I decided not to put it in. I'll see if I made the right decision on that one. Let me grab one of these smaller pieces. Here we go. Mmm. Okay, it is sweeter than the other ones, but still not as sweet as the drink itself. So if you want to add corn syrup to this one, you could do that too. Let me just slice up some more. I like cutting these jellies up. Mmm, yummy. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.